Hello fellow gamers, it is I, some player, and welcome to the Evil Within demo on Steam. Yeah, and that is quite specific, you may be wondering, what, why is this happening? Well, just because I wanted to get back into doing a couple of videos here and there, maybe take the weekend off instead of doing streams or do videos, and, you know, learn how to edit um, again, because I haven't been doing that in a while, due to streaming and stuff, I, won't, I don't want to get rusty, if you know what I mean. Ugh, I don't want to get cut up by this guy, dude, need to run! Sebastian finally! He hasn't been running this whole time, and now he's finally getting off of his fucking lazy ass doing things. Also, it feels so good to be able to swear again. Because with Kingdom Hearts, I tried my hardest not to due to being a kid's guy. Ah! Ooh! Ooh! Oh my, that must have hurt. Ooh, it's one of those pedals of Time Crisis. Got it. And now they're trying to make it seem all very, ooh, threatening. I'm going to die, but, you know, literally, that's just not gonna happen. They give me just enough time to do everything I need to do to escape. Goodbye. All right, so Outlast and Evilvin are fighting over like grossest level design ever. Ooh. But I made it through. I survived, and it's all that matters. Hello, Sebastian. Yeah, pretty gross, saying it. Sucks to be you, dude. All right, time to get out of here. That letter will do just fine. I love how pristine the light is. Yeah, there's some rust on it, but not a lot of blood considering where it is in. You think it gets a lot of splatters on it, but nope, that thing. Oh, uh, did you see that animation? Smooth transition. Very smooth. Also, my leg should be fucked beyond belief. I don't know how he's even lim limping like this. I'd be crying on the floor, screaming for help and in pain. And he's just like, nope, I'm a police officer, good sir. I got this. I forgot I can still sneak. I actually, I actually did very much so enjoy this game when I did play it for a little bit on, on my channel. And I did, I liked a lot of the ideas of this game. And I thought that the crossbow idea, you know, clearly um, inspired by The Walking Dead at the time was really, really, really cool. But due to the letterboxing, which we're not going to get into, thank God to give you the option to disable that. And, uh, due to issues of having a shitty computer back in the day that couldn't run this game worth crap. And also not knowing how to do a microphone, how to- hello, microphone. God, I had- there were so many issues with that playthrough, but that's why it's gone now. I'm gonna replace it with a new one, because Evil Within needs to be played. I like this game. I want to play this game. It reminds me of Resident Evil 4. This is what Resident Evil 4 should have been. A new titled thing that has nothing to do with Resident Evil and doesn't ruin the series that I used to like. I mean, I still like Resident Evil, obviously, but... Resident Evil 4 just ruined everything. Uh, yes, it revolutionized gaming forever and all that crap, but it was not a scary horror game like it's supposed to be. Gosh! Gosh, dang it. Let me just put this up, you know? Alt's note from Sewer. Besides the lock gate at the far end of Sewer, there's a ladder which would take you to the old ward. If you could make it through there, you would find an elevator leading outside. You would be the one who escaped. You might be the one who survived. <gasps> My god, it is impossible. I can't believe this. Ooh, another door. You just gonna really just sit there? What is he doing down here? How'd he get down here? Why don't I have a flashlight? Um, oh, okay. The trackpad of my PS4 has become a mouse now. Okay, that's... That's interesting. Don't worry, Castellanos. I like how he starts with a really big trench coat and his name is Castiel something. So, you know, getting my references right. Let's go. Seriously? You're gonna take this long to get up this ladder? Dude, come on, bro. What a thrill. With darkness and silence through the night. What a thrill. I'm searching and I'm... I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this will not happen during the regular playthrough, I promise. Playthrough? I can't speak. Ooh, more notes. Boiler room note. 13. Stem system operation test begins. 1315. Success. Confirmation of brainwave synchronization. Loss is minimal. Continuing experiments. Agent collects the data. 1330. Anomaly occurs. Not for the subject. The stenographer claimed they were feeling well and then fell into a coma for reasons unknown. Doctor orders the stem system terminated. 1345. Staff begin complaining of nausea and falling unconscious one after the another. Those who can still move plan their escape from the hospital, but for unknown reasons are unable to. Though the stem system should have been deactivated, so subjects maintain brainwave synchronization with the host. He, the man, appeared. Synchronization with the host. The fuck does that mean? 
Well, we shall soon see our push the button. It's a big red button. You think I ain't gonna push it? You don't know me very well if that's the case. Is... Mm, I'm hearing some things and I don't like what I'm hearing. Again, this part of the game is very, very deceptive, which is why I don't like it. I like it, but at the same time, I, it sucks because the game was kind of um, presented as a really, really scary horror game where you always got to be on your feet and you always got to be sneaky deaky like and you don't have many ways to fight back. And then, you know, the final game came out and we all saw the fuck that didn't happen. This is the only part in the game where it's kind of subtle and scary and... T okay, well, how subtle can it be when a guy with a fucking bag over his head and a chainsaw comes after you, but... And this part of the game was good, right? This part of the game was nice. It's scary. You were unarmed and a freaking psychopath. Jesus Christ, dude! You gotta fix that? Who's gonna pay for that? Me? Nah, ain't happening, dude. I seem very mad. Oh my god, he's such a good boy. He just wants his pets and the treat. That's all he wants in life. I deny him everything. Oh god. The lamp is like, it's, he's in there. Come on, man. I'm swinging right at him. Could you not? Whatever you're doing, if you just could seize those actions. No, I'm Oh, God. Checkpoint. In case you couldn't tell, I got a checkpoint and a little plus I'm with a halo. You know, just to make sure that everybody knows I'm okay now. What is that? A bottle? A bottle. Can I switch sides? No. I get Ah, the game does it automatically. I don't like that. I like when I can do it on my own. But I, I guess. I get it. <gasps> Hello, good sir. Oh, God. Uh, or it doesn't do it automatically. Oh, it's um, it's very inconsistent. I remember this part. It's the part where I freaked out when I first played. I was like, "Oh my god, it's so tense and scary." Blah, 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 blah. He's talking so much. I can't fucking believe it. Get the get out of there. He's very upset with me right now. Oh my god. I think he actually comes around. Can't let him see me. Yeah, no shit. I got it. Thanks, game. Hobbly away over. Get in there, mate! Get in that! Oh my goodness! Well, I think that'll do for a little bit of a test recording. <laughs> you thought I was going to beat this part, but that would be really stupid of you to think so. Don't worry, if you like this and you want to see more after this cliffhanger, do you want to see the beat this part, then please let me know in the comments if you want to see a full playthrough of me playing The Evil Within. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button, leave a comment, as I said, and subscribe. Until next time, game on.